Hey guys, it's Amber. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial and this is using the Lorac Stylist palette. Now this was, I believe, a limited edition palette that came out on Outlook um, about a month ago and I went ahead and ordered it. It is a gorgeous palette. It has a great range of neutrals but also has some really pretty colors like the green and the burgundy which just make it a perfect palette for fall. It has two great big highlighter shades which are awesome as well. And the best part about this palette is, yes it's going to be part of my 1000 subscriber giveaway. I haven't forgotten. Have you guys forgotten? Make sure you share this video on any social media, like this video, and that way we can get closer to my giveaway where this is going to be the palette that I'm going to give away. And there's also two other prizes. So. Pretty exciting stuff. Anyway, so the look that I created is from this palette and it's a basic fall inspired look with more of a nude look and more of a mauvey berry cheek. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started on the tutorial. So first I'm gonna take my NYX White Eyeshadow Base and just apply that to my lid and blend it up into my brow bone. I also go into my inner corner and a little bit under the lash line right uh, around the inner corner just to help brighten that up so when I apply the shadows they really pop. Go ahead and just kind of blend that out with your finger. Make sure it's all blended. And then I'm going to take this brown color and it's just a nice kind of transition color. I'm just going to add this to my crease just so it kind of seamlessly blends up to my brow bone. And just blend, blend, blend. Next I'm going to take this dark kind of plum color and I'm just going to add that right to my crease and then blend it out and I'm just going to keep layering this until it gets to the intensity that I want it to be. Now I like to go back because I have put it eyes and make a really defined crease. If you already have a defined crease, you can skip this. I just like to do this because otherwise it just looks like I have no crease at all. So that just helps and I just blend it out a little bit so it still shows, but it's softened. Then I take this nice white sparkly color or kind of a champagne, add that to my lid, which tiny as it is, and that really helps brighten up the lid and makes it pop more since there's not much of it. And then I take that through my inner corner and then underneath the lash line a little bit. Next I take that plum color underneath and just kind of blend it in the middle and outer corners. If you need to go back with a lighter color and make a blend, you sure can do that. Then I'm just going to line my lashes and do a little bit of a wing. And I don't know why, but the inner rim right there when I line it tickles so bad. It's like the hardest place for me to do. And... So I'm just going to try to even these out, you know, how fun that is to try and make your wings even. Now I'll move on to my brows and fill them in. Nothing too special here, just filling any gaps in sparse places. And I'm obsessed with this cello highlighter pencil. I love this for under my brow and just to highlight any other areas of your face because it's matte and it's creamy. So it works perfectly just to brighten up your face. And I just blend that out. Curl my eyelashes and I'm going to put black liner on my waterline which no one wants to see because it's kind of creepy. Now I'm going to take this Mary Kay um, mascara. It's called I Love Plum and it's a really pretty deep purple and it just really helps um, the color pop. It's really pretty on lots of different eye colors, blue or brown, pretty much anything. It's really flattering. The formula is really nice and buildable and it doesn't clump. Then I'm taking this mocha colored blush from NYX and I forgot my blush brush when I got set up so I'm just using my fingers. And then I'm going to be adding this lip pencil from Pop Beauty. And it's just a nice nude color. I 
talked about this in my favorite lipsticks for fall, so you're interested in what the color is, you can check that out. And I'm all done. So here's kind of a close-up of the eye look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. And leave me a comment down below if you have any other kind of makeup looks you'd like to see. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye!